an undergraduate engineering program is single-handedly the most difficult program that you can embark on. It is similarly a very rewarding experience and a mentally, physically, spiritually challenging pursuit. And here are five tips that helped me survive my undergraduate engineering, which I did nuclear engineering. So to start off, number one, exercise. Exercise is a keystone habit. I know it's challenging at first, but simply just start off with a run a few times per week and try to make it a habit. And you'll see things start to progress slowly and snowball. You'll accumulate less stress. You'll waste less time. And I find that exercise is one of the best investments you can make to your body and your mind. And it really sets you apart from the remaining engineering students in your class. When you exercise, especially aerobic exercises, your body releases a hormone called BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor. And this is basically miracle grow for your brain. Number two is time management. Now, when you enter your undergraduate program, you will have severe depletion of time. You won't have as much time as you once had in high school or in your first year of undergrad or second year. It gets more challenging as you go up. And managing your time is one of the fundamental ways in which you can succeed. Be proactive. You're really working against the clock at all times and you have to minimize your distractions. Cancel that Netflix subscription and those video games. But what I also recommend is journaling. Start off by noting down what's important to you and what you value and set those long-term goals. For example, I wanted to complete an internship by second year which at the time was an optimistic pursuit. But just by writing down those long-term goals, it helped me create an action-based schedule and really manage my time around that. I remember myself entering a new environment, learning how to cook, clean, wash my dishes. And it was so different than just simply focusing on school. Now you're gonna have more responsibilities and focus is number three. And I, I believe everyone lacks this habit. Our, our society is such a hyper stimulated society where we're being bombarded with notifications, social media, your Instagram's going off, Facebook, Twitter. And it's so difficult to just sit down and not have anyone bother you by picking certain locations, whether at home, on a nice table in a quiet area or simply at the library in the quiet study lounge. Selecting an area where you focus your time and are not gaming or taking any leisure activities is one of the most important things that you can do. You know, a few apps that I use on my phone are DigiDetox. DigiDetox uh, sets time restrictions on certain applications and shuts those off as soon as I surpass that time limit. Or an app called Forest. Now this has been the most important app that I've used in my entire undergrad. Use Forest to, to organize the distribution of time, the time that you're investing in each course, and you can really see how your academic performance benefits or declines as a result of the amount of time that you've invested. Sleep. Sleep, I recommend that you do not pull the beginner move of pulling all-nighters. I remember staying up with my friends, first semester, first year exams, and just studying the whole night and just blanking out when it came to exam time. And I recommend that you do not do this. Get at least eight hours of sleep. Your brain will actually absorb more information and retain that information. Remember, engineering is not all about just, just vomiting on a on a piece of paper, just regurgitating that same information. It's about applying that knowledge. It's about having an in-depth understanding of what you're studying and being able to critically think. So in terms of critical thinking, I, I believe that sleep is extremely important. And last but not least, get involved. Last but not least, get involved. Uh, getting, vol getting involved is underrated and it's probably one of the most important things that you can do in your undergrad. It, it enriches your undergraduate, your undergraduate experience. You, you see the joys of interacting with different organizations. You develop your soft skills like networking, communication, and 
these organizations attract cream of the crop, kids that are able to balance both academic pursuits and being able to manage their time effectively in extracurricular activities. So I recommend getting involved as the number one thing that you do in your first semester. In my first semester, I was taking part in elections for the engineering society, joining clubs like EWB, going to conferences. And these are the experiences that really resonated with me throughout my undergrad, helped me land those internships, and I believe were, were cornerstone in enriching my university experience. Um, so I really recommend getting involved and creating a strong group, a strong network of friends that would be your support circle. And lastly, I would like to end off with just summarizing these five keystone habits that you should develop. Number one, exercise. Number two, time management. Number three, staying focused. Number four, getting sleep, get those Z's. And number five, get involved. And those are the tips that helped me in my undergraduate for the nuclear engineering program. Uh, if you have any tips or advice, please comment down below. And thank you so much.